Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for November 13th, 2023. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. Hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Pisces, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, okay? So this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the, the just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Hmm. That was already itching. Also keep in mind, Pisces, that this is a general reading. I just said that. Also keep in mind, Pisces, that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes into your energy. Whenever it does come across your platform is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, we're going to jump right in here and see what we can see from Spirit today. Boom, 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 boom. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Pisces today, please. Ooh. Oh, so it seems like you guys got some options here, okay? You got, um, whether it be with work or with people, significant other, okay? You have the Seven of Cups on the bottom, which means... Hmm, do I pick that or do I pick this? Okay, you got some kind of options over here, more than one. Seems like you got multiple options. You guys could be celebrating here um, or celebrating with friends or celebrating with family. Or your your options are with more than one people and I don't know, that's kind of interesting. I don't know, but you definitely have some kind of celebration going on here, guys. Spirit guides, God, angels, assessors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards I need to see for Pisces today, please. Oh wow, came out on the bottom again. One, two, three, four. Someone wants to make you an offer or you want to make someone an offer towards something here um, or you want to give someone a gift or someone wants to give you a gift here. Something like this is significant. All right. We have the justice card on the bottom of the deck. So one, two, three, four. Oh, so this is something that um, Queen of Cups reversed, High Priestess reversed, and the Hierophant Reverse. Big, big things happening in your energy right now. Justice on the bottom of the deck. We're going to read the Justice card first, okay? Institutional when physical and conceptual when esoteric. First, the physical meanings. This card can indicate actual locations such as city halls, courtrooms, law offices, prisons, eek. Uh, you guys may be getting married. Someone may be getting married out here, okay? If you're watching this, Someone out here may be getting married. The reason I state that is because we had the Three of Cups, which is like celebration. So your friends and family are together with you with the celebration for getting married or something right here. And now you have options after this marriage, like not as far as people go, but as far as like what you can do with life now or what you're going to do with life now. Mm. All right, justice, payback, vengeance, or karma, and applied social moral values. Once again, clarify the meaning. Um, as an event, this card can indicate successful resolution, restitution, or settlement in your favor. Of course, this is mildly infringing on judgments, the divinatory turf. Okay, so like some of you guys out here are getting some kind of settlement or something successful successful going on for you. Like uh, maybe, maybe you guys are celebrating because of uh, the settlement or some kind of money coming in for you. Or again, for some of you, this is some kind of marriage. That's what I'm getting intuitively, okay? But back to this chaos thing, chaos theory states that something about butterflies and hurricanes and what they are really saying is that sometimes the most seemingly inconsequential thing can be the tipping point in the direction of which way a huge decision falls or process ends up. Justice says, you may not see all the reasons for this decision, but it will make sense, okay? So justice is a card for Dharma, which is a good thing. All right. In the past here, Pisces, we have the Queen of Cups and the Reversal, okay? So... This could be how someone feels about you or how you feel about someone. Um, reversals for core cards usually are not necessarily um, depicted as the best thing, okay? It says, the Queen of Cups reverse indicates a woman whose emotions tend to escape her, escape her control on a regular basis. Additionally, her sanity may come into question, potential for drug and alcohol abuse, potentially jealous, unreliable, dishonest, and dangerous to herself and those around her approach with caution, okay? So it seems, Pisces, you could have been dealing with someone like this or someone sees you as this type of person, okay? Whether it's true or not, this is how someone is depicting you. Cups do represent water, so Pisces. <laughs> Two, three, four. Clarify, Queen of Cups, reverse for Pisces in the past. Okay. Two of Pentacles, some kind of juggling going on here. Maybe juggling between people or juggling finances or something like this, okay? We have the King of Swords, which, um, and the Reversal, okay? And then the Ten of Swords. You could have been dealing with an air sign. 
uh, Pisces Cancer, I mean, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay. <laughs> it's a Pisces Cancer. So, King of Cups in the reversal. A patient man with a cruel, calculating mind, criminal, mastermind, or ringleader, iron-fisted tyrant, dictator. I forgot to say at the beginning of the video. For those of you that do not know, I use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I use this as a quick reference guide, although I do know most of the uprights and some of the reversals. I am still learning the reversals of the tarot deck, so I wanted to throw that out here just in case to be full disclosure, guys. Just wanted to let you know, okay? <laughs> All right, so... Someone either sees you as a patient, cruel man with a calculating mind, a criminal mastermind, or a ringleader, iron fisted tyrant, or a dictator, or you see someone else as this, or this is the kind of person you were dealing with here. All right, and then we have the Ten of Swords in the upright. So you or someone is feeling, we're feeling incredibly backstabbed, okay? Or are feeling incredibly backstabbed still. Um, we're showing the Emperor in the reverse, okay? So this could have been an Aries. Uh, doesn't have to be okay, but Emperor is, is is Aries energy. Okay, so could have been someone that you were dealing with with this type of like type of feeling or type of mindset going on here, where they're feeling backstabbed by you or you by them. Okay, with the Ten of Swords, it says live by the word, die by the sword. This is the undoing of a person. In extremely rare cases, it may be the assault of an innocent, but as this is the summation of a life sworn to the fair and impartial virtues of the sword, the fate accompli visited upon this person is usually somehow a propos. This card is not a judgment on a person, it is an action befalling them, but this card rarely comes out when it has not been earned. In this, in the case where it has honestly not been earned karmically, this represents the analogous death by death of a thousand cuts, or slightly less known but more appropriate curse of inconvenience. The old saying that starts with, ever have one of those days? This card indicates one of those days, or weeks, or months, where it just seems like any tiny thing that can be an annoyance suddenly decides that you look, the, look like the perfect target for their aggression. In this case, the actual damage is much less than in other interpretations of this card. But the real and complete damage is the incessant pin pricking to the point of throwing you into a frenzy of anger and carelessness so that you end so that you ended up doing incalculable damage to yourself and your future, especially in ways you cannot see. Now again, this can be the other person that you're dealing with. Uh, this can be you. Take it as it resonates. Feel free to reverse the roles however you need to, okay? Additionally, absolute betrayal, financial ruin, treachery, overthrow by many hands. All of these may be physical or emotional, and they may apply to situations as well as people. Example, the study, the sudden ugly ending of a covenant, a relationship, or business. Finally, this card may indicate chronic back pain or back surgery. Okay, so for some of you out here, maybe going through some back pain or having some back surgery. But for most of you out here, this is someone uh, in your energy. Not a very good person for you. Okay, Pisces is what I'm getting. All right. They got some stuff. All right, so the reverse of the Emperor here. Oh, this is the Empress, my bad. Let me see. So the reversal of the Emperor here, this represents tyrants, dictators, corrupt public officials, vastly overpaid bosses, also over-regulation over of a situation, micromanagement, abuse of power and authority, okay? So very well, Pisces, you could have been dealing with someone like this in your energy, okay? Um, it could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, you could have been dealing with another sign like that. It doesn't have to be, okay? Um, in the present here, we have the High Priestess in the reversal. I should know this one because I just read this one twice in the last reading, okay? <laughs> the reversal specifically, but I will still look it up for you guys so that way we can get a clear picture here. What this usually represents is not being able to see something clearly. <coughs> the High Priestess um, is the the high priestess controls who is able to see through the veil into the spiritual world and who is not able to see through that. So whenever the high priestess is in reversal, it, it states here or is clearly telling me the high priestess is also Pisces energy. OK, so this is very, very much could be you or definitely someone in your energy not being able to understand why you do what you do or how you do what you do or something like this. OK, but it, it, it's, it simply states it's for the reversal, not being able to understand or see something clearly here as a mental state or physical condition physical condition confusion alcoholism and drug abuse overdose paranoia and superstition disillusion especially with the six of swords or seven of coins etc spiritual weakness clouded judgment false spirituality look at expecting cards psychosis fantasism and extremism excuse me not doing one's research or homework abduction buried treasures and bad pomegranates okay let's clarify this high priestess for pisces Let's clarify High Priestess Reverse for Pisces in the, the present, please. Oh. Okay. We're clarified with the 
I guess I could just take all my... Yeah, I'll take these three. All right, we have the Justice card, the uh, Three of Swords in the Reversal, and the Empress, okay? So the Justice card, um, I believe we got this in the pre in the pre shuffle over here, but I'll read it again. I'll, you know, I'm all right with that. I got a little time over here on my hands, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Actual location, city halls, okay? So something like this. Just this is a card you would use for Dharma or correct casualty in your magical workings to affect your laws of attraction and repulsion, whereas the will represents the resultant karma or effect. So someone's getting some kind of karma or Dharma here, all right? It's showing me, or like, I mean, all right, with the Three of Swords in the reversal, um, it's stating that you're like having to heal from something here. I mean, if you're having to heal, then obviously you went through something that was painful or hard. Okay, let me get something else in here. You might be trying to come to some kind of resolution or restitution with this person. Um, again, settlement could be coming in your favor over something that happened with this person. This could be someone you have a kid with or someone that is pregnant. Um, doesn't have to be, or you have a kid. Something like this is going on here. Let me see Three of Swords, okay? Let me see the Three of Swords. In the reverse, okay. Swift, healthy recovery after surgery, rectifications of injury sustained. Emotional healing after brutal heartache, restitutions offered under command of authority figures, okay? So, for some of you guys out here, especially with the um, Ten of Swords in the past, okay, for this one storyline, I want to make sure, because it is clear, whoever, if anyone had some surgery here in the past, you're going to be recovering quickly, okay, for, for whoever that resonates with. For others of you out here, you went through some kind of heartache or betrayal from someone in the past, and now, like, you're, you're, you're healing through this situation, okay? You are getting justice on this situation from this person that hurt you, okay? Which is very good. Two very good cards. And we also have the Empress. The Empress. The Empress. Okay. <laughs> um, it says, the very first two words are pregnancy. Congratulations. Also indicative of mothers if associated with supporting minor arcana cards. See this as the concept of the energy and actuality of motherhood rather than any one person in all but rare cases. Identify the person by finding, expecting cards, or by opening this card up. As a verb, this card indicates applied compassion, caring, and or the act of nurturing and caretaking. This could just as easily be nursing along a new business venture with great care and love as it could be the act of taking in a stray. The emphasis here is the sincere care and attention given by the person behind those kind acts. As a quality in a person, it speaks most highly that rare quality of genuine compassion, consideration, grace, beauty, inner, and most likely outer to some extent as well. As a situation, it indicates a happy home life, a time of more than peace. Think more renaissance where arts and luxuries abound as repression ends. Creativity, free thought, and the free expression of that thought are allowed to blossom. In every way, this is truly a happy card. It is not a beginning except in the case of a pregnancy nor an ending. It is a state of being or a state of affairs for a time and those types are and those times are ripe with three friends and, emo and emotional and physical security okay so what is what i'm getting here pisces is that you went through this backstabbing situation with someone in the past could have been either an air water or fire sign okay <laughs> uh definitely um someone that hurt your <clears throat> someone that pretty much hurt you deep down here okay in the present, you're recovering quickly from this situation, okay? You're getting justice for this situation in one way or another. And also, you're happy with what you have going on, okay? Whether you are alone or whether you have a new person in your life or whatever's going on with that, you are happy with what you have going on. You're happy not being with this person anymore that hurt you, okay? That's what I'm getting intuitively putting this together, okay? Now with the Hierophant in the future, this is what you have to look forward to, guys, okay? The Hierophant is in the... Um, in the reversal so it says um the act of following tradition unquestioningly fundamentalism rule mongering bureaucracy prosthetization browbeating excommunication okay so you're cutting someone off or cutting something off based on some kind of traditional route um, that you follow or have followed for a long time that you were sticking to okay um there's like five words in here that i need to look up in order to get <laughs> in order to understand exactly what all these means excommunication i know what that means okay um, but it says the act of following tradition unquestioningly, okay? Like you're doing these things by the book, okay? You you follow this by the book. All right, you might have a traditional job, traditional way of thinking, like um, uh, getting married before you have kids or have sex and stuff like that, something like this specifically. 
for someone out here okay that might be your mindset whether you do it or not okay that might be your mindset here okay or at least that's how you would I mean there's so many people that are not traditional today that's how you would probably like it to be or like you strive to be that way but it's probably hard for you to find some, like people that are along that possibly so um just keep striving keep doing what you're doing keep moving forward it's going to happen for you all right let's clarify the tower front reverse for pisces in the future ah! okay we got the tower wanted to pop out i mean we got like a handful of pop outs and it went straight to the tower so you guys may be experiencing a tower moment or someone may be experiencing a tower moment in your life here or something okay which is kind of just the foundations of the earth shaking like you're the way that your life is going in the future or the way it is right now might be fine it might be good but in the future something may happen for you guys that is just going to kind of knock you out of the tower okay like um knock you off just knock you off your feet okay but i don't know if it's a good way or not let's clarify okay it could be something yeah it could be a good thing Okay, a tower moment where you're not expecting this, so to speak, but someone could be recognizing the work that you do, okay? They recognize you for your work, okay? Um, you might feel a little left out in the cold based on having to move on from a job. Okay, what might happen here, guys, is you might be getting fired or losing a job, okay? It doesn't state that specifically here, but we have the tower and then we have the five of pentacles, okay? The tower represents your the foundation of your earth shaking, okay? Like you're falling out of a tower, everything is happening and it's very external. People are seeing this, people are watching this, people are, are, are knowing this is happening, happening to you, people in your energy here, okay? It's making you feel left out in the cold, like you lost something, like, like you got kicked to the curb, okay? And then with some fast, fast approach, fast moving, fast something here with this eight of wands coming in or going, okay, you're moving towards something fast or something's moving towards you fast. And they're reaching out a hand to offer. Just be willing to open up your emotions here, Pisces, and be willing to accept whatever this offer is, because it's most likely either a new gerb, a new, it's either a new gerb or a new person. <laughs> This is most definitely either a new job or a new person wanting to come in and help you out of this situation here where you're feeling left out in the cold and they're coming in fast, okay? Um, or a job is coming in fast. Something's coming in fast for you, okay? I'll read the five of pentacles for you just so we can you can see what I'm talking about here. But this is definitely something that, I mean, if it's a job, you might be getting fired or you might be leaving this job very quickly. Your job may be feeling left out in the cold after you after you move on, okay? And then... And then you're going fast approaching towards something else and these people it's either that okay one of the three things one of the one of the seven things we got here <laughs> we got somebody feeling left out in the cold something fast approaching either towards someone or away from something else okay and then we have an offer being made to someone but they're unwilling to accept the offer because they're so emotionally closed off okay and we have the tower like kind of clarifying that okay so you might be having to move away from something that is a traditional way of doing things and figuring out a different way to do stuff, okay? But let's read it. Five of, five of Pentacles. This is a very unpleasant side of any society. This card addresses poverty, homelessness, lack of health and health insurance. This card signifies a lack of ability to pay one's way in life after a tragedy. It shows the physical and emotional despair of ruin and the view of much of society that the poor are merely indolent, lazy, and deserve their fate. This card reflects more than a simple lack of funds. It reflects a lack of compassion and a refusal to assist those in need, whether they brought their afflictions upon themselves or they are victims of the abuse of others. All in all, this card is one of loss and despair. If this card comes up in a reading, look to expecting cards to determine causes and solutions and, provision, and preventions, okay? So like I stated, um, you're definitely going to want to be emotionally open or like don't let your don't let whatever this thing is that kicked you to the curb or made you feel left out in the cold don't let this affect you emotionally if you can help it because you have something better coming in for you okay eight of wands in the upright quick sudden burst of energy and or action adventure is afoot in the realm and there is no time for rest or sloth the flight of the staves indicates unified sources of action unseen causes leading to change and possible travel be ready to change move adjust or fly literally or even physically at a moment's notice the alignment of the wands in this picture indicates a certain uniformity of action to so expect a, a reasonably orderly process rather than a chaotic mess. This is generally assumed to be a mildly lucky card. So something, like I said, something good coming in for you. You just have to be willing to accept it. Don't be closed off emotionally or like, don't be like, no, I don't need no help. Be willing to accept whatever this is because this may be good for you, okay? 
I mean, it's, it's looking like it's going to be good, whatever it is. Something coming in fast for you, real good. Uh, this is an opportunity, most likely, for most of you. 20.02 on the clock, okay? Immovable object, discontent phase, malcontent person. It is hard to be this disappointed with life, but some people find ways to become so. This card represents resistance to any help, advice, compassion, charity, or compromise. This is more than unhappiness. This is a solid wall. One builds up around themselves and shuts the world out. It is absolute refusal to listen to, interact with, or even recognize the efforts of others. The subtext of, the, the subtext of this card is that everything has been offered to the person this card represents. Therefore, this card is, super, is supremely dependent on associated cards for casualty. One cannot reach the state of withdrawal, withdrawal without reason or circumstance. Look closely for these reasons before offering up solutions. So yeah, you can't like get to this state of withdrawal or feeling this way for no reason. You obviously probably have a good reason to feel the way that you feel here, Pisces. However, don't let those feelings block you from from obtaining this new opportunity because you will have a new opportunity coming in for you and maybe maybe something to do with travel and maybe after you travel somewhere, okay? So don't be like, don't, don't, what I would recommend is let your emotions do what they got to do to work themselves out. So that way, whenever this opportunity comes in for you, you're not blinded by your emotions and you are able to see this. Okay. So take that for what it is and then move forward with that, especially if it's a job that you lose. Okay. Because the five of pentacles usually, I mean, pentacles represents material wealth or material money, something that you're feeling left out of. So, all right. Um, big Bubba Mac. Spirit guide, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. This is Big Bubba Mac. We're going to get him to clarify some of the situation here. All right, we have movies as the first card. You could be going to the movies or you work at the movies or something about the movies is significant here. Or maybe you're watching a movie. One, two, three, four. That was. All right, we have feather or feathers. You could be seeing feathers or a feather or um, look around. You could be seeing feathers at some point or, or another. If you do, this is probably going to resonate with you. Okay, one, two, three, four throat chakra something about your throat chakra is significant here someone could be trying to block your throat chakra they don't want you talking about them or something like this or vice versa um you may need to do something in order to um, protect your throat chakra okay one two three four we have pregnancy yeah we definitely had that especially with the empress it wasn't reversal so you guys could be dealing with a pregnancy or you're pregnant pisces or or um someone in your energy is pregnant or something about a pregnancy here is significant one two three four we have father, okay, you could be a father watching this or um, something about your father is significant, okay, um, or someone's father in your energy is significant here, something like this, okay, one, two, three, four. We have tape, okay, someone has like a recording of you that they watch or you have a recording of someone that they watch or something like this or someone's trying to like hold this together with like tape, which as we know just is not going to last very long. What is meant to be for you will come back if you let go of it. Just know that in the back of your head here, Pisces. One, two, three, four. Father again. You could be a father or something about your father is significant. We have interest, okay? Someone is either interested in you or you are interested in someone or something about interest is significant here, okay? One, two, three, four. Pregnancy again. One, two, two, three, three, four. <laughs> interest again. Let me reshuffle and see what else I can get here. Getting a little too repetitive, son. I just realized how much like hair is on this shirt, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Uh, 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 uh. Pregnancy again. Oh my goodness, somebody's pregnant. <laughs> All right, we have necklace. You could be wearing a necklace, or you have a necklace, or something about someone's necklace is significant here. One, two, three, four. Listen, Big Bubba Mac. All right, I'm going to pull three cards from the back, and that will be the end of the Big Bubba Mac portion. Okay, we have payment. All right, you could be waiting on a payment or expecting a payment, or someone's going to pay you something here significant. Okay, we have car or truck. Okay, something about a car or your truck. You could be having to make payments on your car or truck. Um, for someone out here, maybe you just like bought a car or like started making payments on a car that you just got or something like that. We also have Leo. Okay. Pisces, you could be dealing with a Leo or something like this. Okay, so take it as it resonates. All right, let me get two more. Candle. Okay, someone could be holding a candle in your favor whenever, you know, or, you know, like praying over you with a candle or like thinking about you holding a candle or whenever they see a candle, they think about you. 
or they could be doing this to pictures or videos of you. So I'll take that. Let me get one more. <laughs> take it as it resonates. We have lyricist. Okay. You could be a lyricist or you write lyrics or someone in your energy does. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a message from the ancestor oracle card. Dun, 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 dun. Whole seven nation army couldn't hold you back, Pisces. Okay. <laughs> I get that song occasionally in my readings. I don't know why. I don't know. All right. Let's see what our ancestors would like to say to you today, Pisces. If you, uh, for some of you that do not know, I have Pisces in my chart as well. Okay. <clears throat> so believe me, I feels, I feels. All right. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Pisces today. Answer ancestors. You should be, you're, you're going to be getting some kind of answer with this card here, guys. The one that you're waiting on. Okay. This message is resonating with you guys so far out here. Hit that like button at the bottom. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. And please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments. Okay, guys? Also, um, if you guys would like to reach out to me for a personal reading or donate to the channel, you can find that in the description box below. Also, if you would like an opportunity to make some extra money, look at the very bottom of the description box below. Okay, guys? Boom. We have water and flow on the bottom of the deck. Pisces energy, baby. Okay. Just go with the flow, Pisces. Everything going to be all right. One, two, three, four. We have communicator or messages. Okay. You could be a communicator or be expecting some kind of messages coming in soon. <clears throat> Something like this is significant. One, two, three, three, four. We have grandmother and grace. Okay. Your grandmother, you may have a strong connection with her or you may um, have a strong bond with her or she's passed away. She is still looking over you and watching over you. Okay. We have artesian serenity, artesian craftsmanship, plant seeding. Okay. Somebody's definitely pregnant out here. Or if you're not wanting to be pregnant, you might want to take some extreme measures here because we got a lot of that going on. All right. Mentor and coach. All right. Let me get one, four and the card on the back will be the card. One, two, three, four. Boom. We also have dancer and movement. You could be a dancer or you like to dance, or you like to move around, or you possibly need to, okay? Well, this is the card they would like you to see today. Water and flow, baby. Go with the flow. what I say? what did I say, Pisces? Okay, go with the flow, baby. All right, let's look it up. Let's see what it says. Definitely some Pisces energy here. This is a very good card to have, guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with water, and the oceans hold about 96.5% of it. Although the oceans contain the vast majority of available water, water also exists in the air as vapor and in rivers, lakes, ice caps, and glaciers. It's found in the ground as soil, moisture, and aquifers, plants, and animals, and of course, and human beings as well. <clears throat> it's constantly moving from one place to another and one form to another in a perpetual collaboration with other elements to create a variety of weather patterns, from gentle rains to violent thunderstorms. In the process, it serves an important ecological function of distributing water throughout the planet as it flows from one form to another and one place to another. Not only is water essential to all life, but it is continual flow from slow and quiet to rapid and intense. It is and intense is a meta. Not only is water essential to all life, but its continual flow from slow and quiet to rapid and intense is a meta and is a metaphor for the continual movement of life itself. Okay. That is what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. They're saying go with the flow as a familiar expression that is reflective of one of the major characteristics of this ancestor. Yet you're finding it difficult to do so lately. Constant interruptions, distractions, and unpredictable and unexpected events have demanded your attention, creating considerable tension and stress. Whether you realize it or not, this is all part of the flow of life. To remember what a smoother flow is like, you must pause, breathe, and move your body more slowly, slow enough to experience the fluidity and grace of movement that are all possible. Take a few minutes now and throughout the day to move more slowly with intention and presence and notice how you feel. Make your movements an active meditation like Qigong or yoga. In doing this, at some point, you will not just be in the flow, you will be the flow. Whenever you take a drink of water, savor it, sipping slowly, tracking it as it pours into your body while saying a prayer of gratitude. Wow. Go with the flow, guys. All right. Always, always, always meditation, breath work, walking. That's the three things that I do in order to 
in order to basically get my emotions, get myself under control and control my emotions so that way they are not controlling me. That is what I like to do, okay? I would recommend that for anyone watching this channel. Pisces, I hope this message resonated with someone out here. If it did, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? If you guys would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, you can find that in the description box below. Also, if you'd like to donate to the channel, that is down there as well. It is not required, but it's very much appreciated, guys. Thank you so much. It really does help out the channel. Also, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I may have already said that once or twice, but um, if you guys would like to uh, have an opportunity to make some extra money, make sure you look at the very bottom of the description box below. Okay, guys? Thank you guys so much. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, guys, love yourself first.